In the emerald embrace of the Whisperwood, where leaves whispered secrets to the wind and sunlight dappled the forest floor, a symphony of chirps, hoots and bellows filled the air. But amidst the harmonious chaos, a question bloomed in the curious mind of Pip, the tiny field mouse. How does Mama Fox's bark travel all the way from the stream to our burrow? He squeaked to his siblings, his whiskers twitching in thought. The other mice gathered around, reflecting the same inquisitiveness. Maybe it rides on the invisible threads of sunlight, chirped Luna, a butterfly amongst them. Tusk, the young boar, snorted. Nonsense, sound is too heavy for sunlight. Perhaps it burrows underground like me. The debate raged on, each animal offering their own explanation. Just then, a wise old oil beetle named Oleander, his shell gleaming like polished amber, emerged from beneath a leaf. Young ones, gather around, he boomed his voice. Sound is neither bird nor burrower, but a traveller carried by waves in the air. He held up a twig, tapping it against a rock. A tiny vibration tingled through the air, reaching their whiskers. Imagine this vibration as a ripple on a pond, Oleander explained. When Mama Fox barks, she creates a bigger ripple, like tossing a pebble into the water. This ripple, or sound wave, travels outwards, bumping into air molecules, pushing them back and forth. His words painted vivid pictures in the young minds. Pip imagined sound waves as shimmering trails, crisscrossing the forest like playful fireflies. Luna saw them as colourful balloons bouncing through the leaves, while Tusk pictured them as mighty waves crashing against the trees. But the whisperwood is thick with leaves and branches, Luna fluttered her wings. How do the sound waves get through? Oleander chuckled, his antenna twitching playfully. Think of the leaves as gentle giants, swaying with the sound waves. The branches, like wise elders, guide the waves around them. The denser the forest, the slower the sound travels, just like walking through tall grass takes longer than on a clear path. He tapped the twig again, creating a softer sound. Listen closely, he instructed. This quieter sound, like a whisper, has smaller waves that travel slower and tire more easily. This is why Mama Fox's loud bark reaches you, but her quiet purrs might not. A hush fell over the gathering. The wind rustled the leaves, carrying Oleander's words further into the forest. Now, every rustle, chirp and hoot held a new meaning, a silent symphony of sound waves dancing through their world. Pip, Luna and Tusk looked at each other, their eyes sparkling with newfound understanding. The Whisperwood was no longer just a place of sounds, but a stage where invisible waves wove stories on the wind, waiting to be unraveled by curious minds. Hey, little dreamers, did you enjoy tonight's bedtime adventure? If you want more magical tales and exciting adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.